Hello my sexy muffins and welcome to my first ever react video. Today we're going to be wa reacting to parts of uh, the Clicks YouTube channel of Frick You Karen. A basically us reacting to him in his soothing voice of him reading off memes from the Reddit subreddit Frick You Karen. And we're going to be doing that here only part because I want you to go and watch the full video on his channel. So give him all the subscribes, likes, all that stuff because he deserves it. He's the one who's doing the hard work here. And honestly, I just want to react, start doing react videos. And I thought, why not start here? Okay, now let's go. Oh, I love the animation. <sighs> Oh my god, I have to get away real fast. She really wants to speak to the manager. This is some scary shit right here. Oh my god. <sighs> oh, they found you. <laughs> oh no, the stuff of nightmares in that wig, though. Oh, oh my heart. Ah, oh no. <gasps> and then he died <laughs> earlier that day. <sighs> I think we finally managed to shake her off. Oh my god. Look over there. There's a high point where we can record memes. Absolutely amazing. Let's go, uh, squad fam. Heck yes. Squad fam? When running from Karens, it's important to be at a high point so you can see all the <laughs> predatory animals approaching you from a distance. Um, what are you doing so far away? Come closer. You can't stay there. You're going to get attacked. Come on. Poppers? There's like a dog hunting team out here. Okay, I think it's good now. No way, there's another one. <gasps> oh, it's coming over. Look at this, there's the puppers everywhere. <gasps> puppers! Oh, I love puppers! They look so cute! So now, this, does, the puppers. this day turned from good to amazing. Welcome, ladies, lasses, and lassos, to the click in the woods in nature. My god, just as our lord. The Sky Daddy Satan intended. Today we're going to look at some art slash freak you care, which is beautiful. Oh, we all love Sky Daddy Satan. Ooh, la la. Beautiful stories, beautiful memes, and it makes us feel a little bit less insane to look at it together. Enjoy. As an American, you have a right to not wear a mask. As an American business, we have a right to mm -hmm. refuse to serve those Another fact. Masks. Can't have it both ways. True. You're free to make a choice, but that means accepting the consequences of your actions. The screaming at employees and for businesses for protecting their workers and customers does not make you a patriot. It just makes you disrespectful. Don't mistake inconvenience for oppression. <laughs> I think it's kind of like the center of the universe syndrome. My favorite comic ever is Hermann Hedning, and one of the episodes mm -hmm. is literally about him eating so much, so he tries to gain a gravitational field so food will automatically fly into his mouth, like birds and stuff. Absolutely Ew. beautiful. I think that's kind of what all these people are going for. Baby yeah, that's shower true. Rule. That <laughs> so my baby shower is in two days, and apparently people don't know that we aren't supposed to show up to a baby shower empty-handed. The purpose of a baby shower is to shower the baby with a gift. I made mm -hmm. a rule stating that if you come empty-handed, you are not allowed to eat or have alcoholic drinks. Uh... Those who drive will get a risk. Okay, they had me at the first, the first, you know, uh, oh, this is so bad. Like, yeah, baby shower is just, if you're having a baby shower, you're obviously doing it for the gifts. You're not doing it for your baby. Well, the gifts are for your baby, so you're technically doing it for your baby. Anyways, you're doing it so you can get gifts for your baby because you probably don't have all the stuff you need for your baby and you possibly don't have the money for it. Ugh. Okay. That's, that's fine. That's fine. But not loud in the people who can't afford gifts for your crush gremlin have to then not eat or drink. I would just not go if that was the case. Like your crotch gremlin is not that big of a deal to me. Like, nah, I don't want anything to do with your crotch. A gremlin. Like, no, I'm a gremlin myself. Wristband at the door, so they are welcome to eat and drink as they please. Are really doing those little, little arm stamps they have at clubs, but for your home parties? Okay. It seems as though people aren't too fond of this rule, but 
because the time and money it took to prepare for this baby shower was very hectic to just allow people to eat and drink for free without getting my baby anything. For all that, I'd rather they not show up. Am I being dramatic with this whole gift situation? If you spend so much money on the party, why not skip the party and buy your own baby things? Yes, yeah, That is a very good point. Like, if you're doing a grand party, I mean, if it's on a budget, I understand, because there are, like, if you're a teenage pregnancy and your parents are fine with that and they help you throw a baby shower and you have some really rich relatives, hopefully they get you something good, like, the stuff that you need that you can't afford, that is valid, but if you have a lot of money and you're just hoping that the other moms get you expensive stuff and then you don't have to buy it and that you are going to be pretty and not allow them to eat if they don't. Like, Argh, no. That's what I'm thinking too. Like, then you would get exactly what you need <laughs> and want and you would avoid all this issue and drama. If it's really, is, I mean, this kind of thing is more about gestures, right? Or am I just whooshing this? <laughs> This feels so weird and entitled and unpleasant. It's not always the situation or complaint itself that determines if you're a Karen or not. It's how you react to it and treat people around you that does. What do you mean I have to wait in line? It's so entitled. Don't you know I've been to the store all the time. Your best customer was here once, three years ago, and bought something for $12. <laughs> I am a valued customer. Rap Majorie Taylor Green says she reported Jimmy Kimmel to the Capitol <laughs> Police for a threat of violence after he made a Will Smith <laughs> joke about her. Uh. Uh, like, oh god. I'm, j I'm not gonna do that because it's celebrities. I'm just going to she move on. She's a great source of content. I, I see that name popping up way too much and it's never in like reference to anything positive. <laughs> Jacobs Reese Mogg is leaving this note for civil servants who aren't at their desks. Sorry you were out when I visited. I look forward to seeing you in the office very soon and every good wish. Oh my god, that's so passive aggressive. Oh, but <laughs> you, but you, but <laughs> you, but you for being an a wipe. Okay team, you know how we make this work environment positive and engaging for everyone. Passive aggressiveness. Ooh, am I right? Why is nobody applauding? Putin, I am a victim of cancel culture. <laughs> 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 deserve to be cancelled. Like, no. Putin, you're a, you're a dictator. You can be cancelled. If you're going to invade a country, expect people to get upset with you. Uh, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> okay, okay. Whew. Come on, click. You're in the woods for this serene environment. Oh, here's like a story. Hell yeah. Karen, this is in my work today. For context, I work at a high-volume Cadillac dealership and also sells slash services Chevrolets. Karen's come into our dealership 10 minutes late for her 4 p.m. oil change and tosses her keys to an advisor, jabbing on her phone loudly. Okay, first of all, the witchy bee was late. So we know that this is not the best start we know it's gonna be bad and the way she's throwing her keys and jabbering on her phone i think this is not gonna go well not at all it was a personal call and the word affair was mentioned oh but that's all i got off to great start two to five minutes later when i look out of my office which looks into the customer lounge and karen has seated herself in a chair but also pulled another leather chair from the other side to the lounge so she could take off her socks <coughs> and shoes and put her nasty feet on the other chair. Oh, God. So she uh, oh, God. Oh, God, her nasty feet. Like, I know nasty feet. I have sweaty feet that sweat profusely, but I would not do that. Like, uh, we're in the middle of a pandemic and you're doing that. You don't know what germs are on your feet or what germs are on the chair. Karen! 
all spread out while gabbling on her phone. She then proceeded to start complaining that she was waiting too long, it had been 15 minutes, and proceeded to walk around the entire dealership barefoot. Uh, uh, Karen! Why, Karen? Complaining about the lack of service and the excruciating wait. Yada yada. About 4.45, the advisor comes to her and says her car is all done. But during her courtesy inspection, the tech recommended new shocks, brakes all around, and since he was close to 100k, 100k mileage, not, not 100k bill, routine maintenance items. Karen barely paying attention as she is focused on the outrageous and disgustingly high cost of her oil change, under $50, but when the advisor told her what needed to be done to make her car road safe would be about 1100 she completely lost it. She accused her of trying to take advantage of her because she's an older woman, and we're trying to scam her, thinking she didn't know anything about vehicles. Oh, that is such a cop-out. Like, if your car needs maintenance, get it done, please. And if you can't afford it, please drive as little as possible. I understand that some people can't afford to get their car's maintenance because some people in America live paycheck to paycheck. And that just, gosh, don't, don't yell at the person that's just trying to help you. Just do what you gotta do. Oh my god. Well, Karen, you drive a 1999 Boutique Lurch with almost 100k miles. The brakes are rusted through and you have metal on metal pads and rotors. So basically no brakes. My tech didn't even want to let you go because they technically aren't street legal in our state at this point. Your shocks are gone, as in not just leaking, but one was hanging on by a hope and a prayer. And the other one was so rusted, my tech didn't know how she lost it. Your front driver's seat frame is rusted out, so you packed it with a 2x4 and foam spray. <laughs> oh my god, it's just one of those wooden cars you built as a kid at this point. Yeah. Holy crap. Like, Jesus. God, I wish I had a picture of that. She didn't even get to hear about her totally bald tires. It's safe to say this woman had never done anything other than an oil change on her car. Period. She screamed and cussed, demanded to see the owner. She got the GM and service manager. My poor cashier, who was also being personally attacked at this point, just shut her window and refused to help her anymore. I mean, Karen did call her a pathetic C-word, so I can't blame her. GM and SM are attempting to explain everything to her, but she is refusing to listen. Finally, my SM calls me over. I am the office manager for sales, service, mm -hmm. and warranty to try a female yes. and to calm her down, as she said she's now feeling threatened. <laughs> While I hadn't been involved yet, I'd seen her behavior and was almost ready to step out anyway. <laughs> I simply said, ma'am, you felt comfortable enough to take off your shoes and socks to rest on our leather chairs. You also felt comfortable enough to walk around our sales store and service lounge barefoot. If, now you're uncomfortable, I will take care of your oil change today. You have your inspection report with our technician's recommendation as well as our quote. Now, before I can release your car, however, I do need you to sign this waiver that you're taking your vehicle against our advice. As we have deemed it unsafe for the road, we consider it a risk to your safety as well as others. Mm -hmm. In order to protect us from bad customer decisions, we require this. The state laws allows us to hold your vehicle if we deem it unsafe. For state law, if you sign this, we cannot hold your vehicle. She signed it and called me a stupid effing bitch. <laughs> I was condescending to her. Well, yeah, I totally was. And she couldn't believe she was being treated the way here. And of course, the famous, I am never coming back. She then claimed she knows the owner. The problem is, the owner's name isn't Peter. No, it's his son or any of his grandsons. Looking into her service history here, she's only been in once before, three years ago, for a wiper blade replacement. <laughs> <That> one... <laughs> ah, that tickles me, like, she's been in there once before, and... Karen, please just go back to the free one, you know. Some places offer free oil chains, cha change, 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 changes, and you probably got banned there because they didn't like your attitude, and just don't bring that witchy beast to us. Thank you very much. Oh no, the lucrative business is slipping through our fingers. Dear God, Steve. I mean, I'll give her credit. She's a little bit of a handywoman. She repairs her cars with two by fours and, and foam. <laughs> oh my God. For the one who's wrapped around your finger, a gold band to wrap around theirs. She Aww. Has gold wedding bands. That's, That's sweet. That's so sweet. Look at her. 
love is in the air. Sodomites and abomination of the full gown. Sadly, we're in the minority mild issue, but that's a good thing. It looks like you and your friend Carlton are still clinging on onto worldviews that are as old as our diamonds. <laughs> oh, yeah. I spent thousands of dollars in gifts in 2003, but because of your new ads and uh, not in response, just uh, tell me you're done. I will also screenshot your comment and made and stand to your corporate office. Oh, hi. Uh, Maybe you can consult the Old Testament to see what it says about screenshots. <laughs> Like, they're not man-made either. They are man-made. Twitter is man-made. Why are you on Twitter, Karen? Because by your logic, the Twitter is not made by God and is false. And you probably are on it a lot and worship it like almost a false idol. So, shame on you, Karen. It's like, it's unnatural. And Twitter is natural. Get off Twitter then. Jesus Christ. Go eat the pine cone. That's natural. I want to see <laughs> what that email looks like. They're probably going to twist it into like, I was harassed by a sales rep. Not like, I was just a little bit of raging homophobic and, and your sales rep called me out of my BS. <laughs> pretty <laughs> much. Fire. That's You're pretty right. much what happened. <laughs> oh, wow. I was just informed by a Karen at the Walmart marketplace that I was taking up a normal person spot because I have disability tags and I wasn't parked in a disability parking spot. <laughs> My day has been made. I will be laughing about this for the rest of the night. <laughs> <sighs> that, I personally am not okay with that. I have, my, my car has disability tags and I drive it. But every time I go to stores in the small town I am in, you know who's always, always, always in the disability parking spots? Or even making a parking spot of what's not a parking spot, but where you can't, it just, ooh. Not disability drivers, and we have fewer spots, so stop. Would you be in? Would you be in? Don't would you be at us? Go, would you be somewhere else? You know that as a disabled person, you also can't use normal bathrooms. You have to find one of those disabled bathrooms. Dear God. I will not hesitate to call the police if someone with a piercing or tattoos try to speak to me. I don't care if you are poor and need money. I don't care if you're religious. I don't care if you have children. There is no way you can be conservative and have a piercing. It's impossible. You know that uh, your team is losing when you're gatekeeping it so hard that you will literally lose members of your team. Seems like a nice way to pay for failure yeah okay let's continue before i say my thought away from you and that's just my opinion <laughs> and to me piercings are one of the lowest signs of attention seeking that and tattoos she says while posting it to facebook for attention <laughs> Ooh, the irony what makes someone want to mutilate their body for aesthetics is beyond me and people need to love themselves I would never date someone who would do that. Well, I don't think they would date you either, so all, all fine. Everyone would agree to disagree. <laughs> Definitely insecure. Not only that, but good luck getting a job. <laughs> Love yourself. Yeah, because... <sighs> so, let's take this as the little girls that want to get their ears pierced when they're like eight, nine, seven, whatever age they get it. And that's... They get pierced. Are they low t attention seeking and all that jazz? Or are they just little girls? And does it count if your ear lobes are pierced like a normal piercing? Well, uh, normal air quotes around normal because it, I, I'm sure, Karen, you have those ear piercings as well. And is that normal? It's not a natural thing to put holes in your ears at all by your logic and that you are also attention sinking as well you chibi anyways karen take that <laughs> okay sorry i'm not being mean it's just ridiculous because i certainly won't <laughs> it's important to love yourself so it makes up for the blatant hatred on Facebook. Yep. The Patriot Combo just did a blockade at the entrance of Disney. Car trouble. No one visiting Disney can get in. No one says oh, empowered yes. protests can't quite fudge get them, you. Fudge them, fudge them in the holidays. None. Waiter, I'll go ahead and get rid of this mess for you. Man, thank you so much. Her name's Karen, by the way. <laughs> can you let 
just coming and swooping her up and, and take the dishes to <laughs> clean up that dirty, dirty mess. That what happened to that shiny shiny? Come on. It's April. It's basically summer. Welcome back, you beautiful little beans. We are now indoors. <laughs> and that is where we will leave it. I don't want to watch his whole video. Well, I am going to watch his whole video, like, multiple times. Like, I'm going to have it running in the background while I do dishes and whatnot and work at home and whatnot. Because, well, I just love his videos. I have literally watched, like, every Freak You Karen. At least twice. This is going to be once soon and twice very soon because I have a problem. And I just love his jokes. They make me happy. And this, I needed to be happy today, okay? So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, I will leave his YouTube channel in this video link down in the description so you can go. Watch the rest of it and like and subscribe his channel or otherwise. I will hunt you down and steal your toenails. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed and stay sexy by Sexy Muffins.